Hi, hello. Thank you for watching this video on the replay. So, are you interested in either learning how to start a business, um, starting another stream of income, figuring out how to leverage your skills, figure out what you exactly you should be doing in order to, especially if you're in a position where you're maybe you're in limbo right now, maybe you have a nursing degree, but you haven't been able to pass your boards. Uh, and you're not sure what to do in order to still be able to make revenue, uh, or maybe you have been a nurse for a while now and you are ready to try something different, new, you're ready to, um, or at least add to what you're doing, maybe you switched to per diem recently, this video is going to help you because I'm going to share with you a little bit about uh, my experience as well as also what are some great resources that I recommend to really help position you in the right direction, okay? So the first thing is, you know, um, there are so many different types of businesses you can do. You know, there's so many different types of routes or avenues that you can go into and it doesn't mean that um, you have to limit yourself to just one thing eventually if you want to you can do more you can um, do multiple things but you should start definitely by focusing on one specific thing and um, it could be kind of difficult kind of narrowing and figuring all that out and maybe you are not even certain as far as like if doing business is even, you know, for you, is even something you should pursue or consider. And what I will tell you is that um, I don't think that entrepreneurship is for everybody, but I do think that everybody could benefit from having a business. Um, and so, you know, because the difference is that once you start to get the hang of it, you start to learn it, um, it provides a lot of flexibility, a lot of flexibility, a lot of uh, opportunities to grow, um, and a lot of and it can give you more financial control, especially in the midst of everything that's happening, you know, in the world. And um, when you have a business, you're taxed differently, right? So, for example, when you have a job, you're taxed on average 30, 35 to 40 percent. So, pretty much everything that you make. You have to give 35% of that back to the government. But when you have a business, depending on how well you have a, how well your accountant is, um, you only tax about 15%, 15 to 20% of your earnings, which is really um, great. And so having a business allows you to, um, you know, leverage different type of skills you may already have. Um, there's people that I've seen start a business through just, um, making different type of crafts. So especially if you're somebody where you're, you're really handy and you like to make crafts. Um, and then there's all the way to people that start businesses from consulting to coaching. Um, it just kind of depends on what you feel more drawn to. And you don't have to limit yourself, right? You, but you do have to make a decision and start somewhere. You know, um, it's it, I will tell you that when you're getting started, doing the journey uh, all by yourself can immediately be discouraging. Take it from somebody who's who started doing this whole business thing back in 2015. It can be very um, hard and challenging to do it by yourself. And you want to accelerate your success as soon as possible. You really do. You want to learn how to become successful quickly so that way you your family you and your family can benefit in the, especially now in the long run and it's going to involve knowing and learning what are the right resources right so one of the, the one of the first things i recommend that you do is that you get connected to a network so some type of network some type of organization where there's other like-minded people like yourself who are also pursuing business and so what happens is that you can feed off of each other's input input and advice, 
Um, and then it really honestly makes the journey way more um, comfortable and, you know, and appealing and exciting because you have people to talk to about things like, oh, you do it with that too? Like, yeah, I'm experiencing that as well. And, you know, and you can, and you can feed off of one another. And so that's probably one of the biggest things I would definitely tell you is that if you can get connected with an organization, with another, um, some type of network, uh, and you don't have to limit yourself to just one. You can do more than one um, as well. It's really, really going to help and, and benefit you because um, and, and finding the right re resource is really important. One one of the things, too, that you also want to want to do uh, to help you with growing your business is coming up with a plan, you know, some type of business plan, writing that out. There's different websites you can Google online and that will give you templates of business uh, business plans. And essentially some of the things that you should have in a business plan would be one, um, the vision, like what's your vision, like what do you want to accomplish? Um, who are you gonna help through your business? What's the specific people? Their demographics, their age, their, where they live, ideally, um, you know, their background, their college education, if they have any, you know, so knowing the demographics of who that looks like, um, what are the their problem and what is the solution that your business solves? What is it that, what are you offering? What, how much is the price of what you're offering? These are some of the different elements that you'll put in your business plan. Uh, how are you going to market your business? Like, how are you going to uh, position yourself so that new people discover you? And the old people, well, people that's already familiar with the, your brand, continue to be reminded of you, right? So having that marketing plan in place. And it's pretty exciting because it can bring a lot of fulfillment to your life because you honestly can be able to help people, like really, truly help people and reveal to people, um, like through whatever you're doing, in whatever way, you can truly have an impact on somebody's life. Uh, while you're also making money as well, you know, and that's something that feels really feels really special because it's something that you created, you know, like you didn't have there wasn't somebody that you followed underneath as far as like a person, but something that you put together. So that's another thing too as well is putting together that business plan so that way you have a, an idea of what you're going to do, how and when, um, and then the way that you're gonna do it as well. And then the third thing too is that um, definitely have like a vision board, a, you know, a vision board for yourself as far as like things that outlines your goals, right? So what's your what's your three month goal, your six month goal, your quarterly goal, your yearly goals, you know, things that kind of outline. Okay, here's what we want. This is what I want to achieve by this time frame, you know. And your goals can be anything from you know, it, uh, revenue, followers, um, stages, you know, number of orders, whatever that looks like for you. And you can even outline this on like a wall somewhere in your home, you know, it, just to help you to stay on top of your goals. You know, these are some of the things you can do. And the fourth thing, this is really, really huge, is honestly having a accountability part partner also known as like a coach, um, man, you do want this. Like, um, the sooner the better, honestly, because I know when I first started, I, I told myself, no, I'm just going to, because I'm somebody that's, I'm very into independent. You know, hopefully you look, maybe you figure that out by now. I'm independent, I'm an introvert, and I'm like, I'm gonna figure it out first. And then if I need help, then I'll go look for somebody. And honestly, that's the that's the fastest route to frustrations <laughs> and trials and tribulations, because there's things that you don't realize that you don't know that will impede your path of success. And if you can find somebody that's trustworthy, that's the biggest thing. Somebody that's trustworthy who can help accelerate you and get you there sooner. It's well worth working with them, no, no matter how much. You may feel like you're paying because there's there's a it's more way more expensive. I'm talking about in the thousands to make the wrong mistakes 
that cost you way more because you did not work with a professional. You did not get a coach. So that's the fourth advice I would definitely give you is to definitely make sure that you find somebody as soon as possible. Don't wait, okay, I'm going to hit this goal first and then, no, if, the sooner you can find somebody, the much and a lot better and the more likely you're going to have, you know, a lot more success. And the fifth thing too is to read books. So read lots of books. So I, um, I have read so many books. I have books on Audibles, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I get books on Amazon, like I read books because books are also, they also look like a mentor. You know, but when you work with a real live person, they they can help you to filter out what's relevant and what isn't based on what you're doing. But having a book, but having books is really going to help open up your eyes and begin to put things into like a structure for you, you know, a blueprint format for you and really putting things into a strong place for you. So I would recommend some books, some books I recommend, um, you know, obviously I'm sure you heard of Think and Grow Rich. That's a great book. I think another one that um, I really enjoyed. Oh, uh, One Minute Millionaire. That's another good book as well. Um, trying to think what else off the top of my head. Those are some oh, the, like a couple of ones that I can. Uh, oh, The Four Hour Work Week. That's a good book as well. But what I will say about The Four Hour Work Week is, um, for me personally, I discovered that four hours is not typical for most business owners <laughs> as far as only working four hours not even test not even elon musk um works only four hours a week in his business and he's a billionaire you know so um but there's so much gold advice in that book as well so those are some book recommendations if you have some recommendations you can comment below and you can share with me what you learned or what you if you have any questions now one one of the the resources i would really recommend that you, you know, begin to familiarize yourself with, especially if for those of you that are nurses or you have some type of nursing background uh, or if maybe you're not even a nurse, but this will really be super uh, ideal fit for you, uh, is learning more about the National Nurses in Business Association. So this is a great company um, to get a part of. There's thousands of members that affiliate with, affiliate with this organization. I personally was a speaker at one of their events back in 2018. And if they're having a conference that's coming up in August in Las Vegas, where you can honestly come and learn so much about um, business and entrepreneurship. And then they have some great resources as a member, which means that you can be plugged into their directory and you can become a member and become connected to other people that are also in business. Like I said earlier about connections and networking. So you can become a member of it. And the member is member rate is really really super affordable. So and you get access to so much amazing stuff. So if you want to learn more, click below. We have a referral link that will give you access to it right away. As far as learning more about it, you can also learn more about the conference. I would love to see you at the conference. Uh, and so you can learn a lot of great information about the National Nurses in Business Association. All right, so these are some of the, the, the five different t tips that I recommend to help you to get started, to help you in the right direction, so that way you too can be successful when it comes to the entrepreneurship world. I hope that you found this helpful, and I'll see you the next time. Make sure you subscribe, like, and follow for more information.